So I just got back from Midwest Rep Rap Festival. I drove 12 hours. And even though I lost my voice, I'm not gonna lie, I had a lot of fun. You see, uh, there was all kinds of distributors there and uh, other cool stuff and it, I, I had such a great time. I met uh, Joel, uh, the 3D printing nerd, Barnacles, uh, Tom Sandlander, or Daniel Nori. I met the guy from uh, You Do It. I met uh, I met the guys from Proto Pasta. I got a free roll of Imperfect Pasta from the guys at Proto Pasta. This Imperfect Pasta is pretty cool stuff. Uh, when they they're making filament, right? When they go from one color to another, or one uh, one thing to another. Uh, they just extrude what's left into the machine and put it on a roll and call it imperfect pasta. So normally this would be a, a garbage or a byproduct, but they just make it into, well, it, it is a byproduct still, but uh, they just make it into some filament and it's imperfect. Uh, towards the end of this roll, they told me that it should start to change color uh, from clear to whatever the next color was that they were gonna run. And that's why it's called imperfect pasta. And then I printed this giant one layer thick gear with Imperfect Pasta while I was at Midwest Rep Rap Festival. And I got this really cool lanyard uh, with my information on it. And check this out, the guys from Olsen Ruby Nozzle uh, gave me this uh, nozzle torque wrench. So this is, uh, well, a torque wrench. <laughs> It'll, uh, it can loosen up your nozzle, you know, you could apply as much force in that direction as you want. But when it gets tight, it'll stop you from tightening it too far, which is really cool. And it's also like 3D printed, but I, I can't remember what process he said this was, but I'm sure it's very expensive. This is only one of a hundred made, so I uh, can't throw this away. So I don't remember if I mentioned that I also met uh, the team behind Matter Hackers, which was really, really cool to meet them uh, because they sponsored me with the Nylon X for that winch gear box and that project I did a while back. Oh, you know what else is really, really awesome is when you go to an event like that and uh, nobody knows what you look like, I don't know if that was awesome, but I'm sitting behind the table and people come up to me and they go, are you the guy? And I, all of a sudden it feels like I'm part of a drug deal. Uh, so I figured I'd show you guys what I look like. Here it is. Uh, so next time you can come up to me and shake my hand and whatnot. But uh, yeah, it was always pretty entertaining when they'd come up to me and go, are you the guy? Uh, but I, I met a lot of fans. I met a lot of people that were like so excited to meet me and that was surprising to me. I, I still, wow. Uh, anyways, I'd like to thank everybody who came out and met me and came to the event in general. It was a really fun time and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And now I gotta clean up stuff. Ugh. I literally have just found the most interesting way to get stuff done. is to do work and make a video at the exact same time. So I'm like putting stuff away and talking to you guys. This is the 18 octillion to one gear box that will be coming soon to your computer viewing pleasure. Someday soon. God, I don't feel very good. It's like I took too much NyQuil. Oh, I got stickers. Midwest Rep Rap Festival. You guys ready to see this nice sticker be put on tempered glass panel of my computer? Oh yeah. <laughs> Look what came in the mail when I was gone. Tigo Tarantula. So, for the rest of this video, I'm gonna show some clips that I recorded at Midwest Rep Rap Festival, but they didn't come out very well, so don't get your expectations too high. I also took a time-lapse clip of everybody uh, coming in and setting up for the event, um, but that camera actually died before everyone finished setting up, so another unfortunate reality to the filming business. Uh, so yeah. Cut at a machine. 
So this isn't this isn't homemade. This is brand. Yeah, we have a G3. We make uh, we make GMAX 3D printers. Okay. So they're about this big. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but they're about this big. Okay. And so one Friday, I said, well, we need to do one. So let's just make it bigger for the heck of it. Let's make it bigger. <laughs> so this is like a limo size. Pretty much, yeah. A, home, a, a shop home built limo size GMAX. Okay. <laughs> just chain mail. I made it one uh, a couple months ago or something. This is printed place. Then. Yeah, printed place. This is really cool stuff. First time ever using the Matter Records build PLA, so I think the temps are low, which is why the squares are kind of off the bottom. Why? I'm trying to figure out how the geometry works. Yeah, like, okay. Yeah, yeah I've set across you know, like a chain mail. I kind of did like a zigzag pattern underneath. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see it best in the edges. Who designed this? I did. Okay. Yeah. I'm just surprised they didn't stop playing. Yeah, this is really cool. That's cool. What would you use this for? you have any practice? I don't even know. You know what? I was initially going to make a skirt. So I was going to for, 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 to make a cool skirt, but, you know, which we could have done. But I don't really know. Something like this, where can I leave? Really? I mean, there's a lot of places. I'm not really even sure yet. I don't know. But it is fun. <laughs> the, uh, the fashion podcast. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you can connect with it. Yeah, yeah. That would be really cool if you found a way to do that. Yeah. Or if you could find a way to print it in a way where you could just hang it off the side of the bed. Yeah, yeah. But this, you'd have trouble. You wouldn't be able to do it. It had to have some sort of trouble. So if you didn't already figure, this is printed on the part, Daddy. It's massive. Look at the layer lines on this thing. Look at that overhang. Wow. Hi. Hey, how 
pretty good. So anyways guys, I'd like to say thank you all for watching. If you're ever wondering what I'm up to, uh, don't forget you can always follow me on Twitter or uh, become a patron. I always post updates to what I'm doing and what kind of projects I'm working on. Um, yeah. Hey, if you have any questions or suggestions for me, leave a comment below. And if you'd like to help my uh, whatever's reach a broader audience, then uh, like this video and share it with your friends. Hey. Thanks for watching.